What is up, everybody? Man, first, welcome back to the channel, but you got to see the mess we got going on right here. Oh, man, we got the sink here, the up flush to the toilet there, toilet, plumbing, everything is completely removed from this bathroom. Our pipes froze. We just had some serious weather. It was negative 20 outside, guys. So all of our pipes froze, the feed lines, the drain lines that connect to this here, all of those froze. So once we started to thaw it, what happened? Once we started to thaw it, we realized that the, like one of the pieces for the up flush toilet uh, was broken or busted or something happened when it froze. Uh, so we figured out we needed to like redo the entire system, which honestly is like maybe kind of a blessing in disguise because it kind of gets our button gear to get this downstairs bathroom finished. Um, we've been needing to do a lot of things for a long time. We've just kind of been comfortable with it. So now without a shower, without a toilet, without, you know, washer and dryer, we're like, okay, we need to get this done. So that's what we're doing. That's what we are doing. So we got the plastic going up. Anybody that's been watching the channel for any amount of time, you'll know that we were fighting moisture and condensation issues inside this metal building, inside the walls here. And this is what we have found that prevents that, is stopping any moisture from ever even getting near that metal. So this is six mil plastic. That is the first step. Then we're gonna go over it with some of this OSB that we have. We're gonna cover the walls um, just with the plywood there. And uh, maybe some flooring. Yeah, we have some leftover flooring from one of our buddies um, and then get the shower back in, get the toilet back in. We're hoping to get this like all done today, crossing our fingers that we can bust it out. I think once the plywood goes up, it's gonna go fairly quickly. Um, and once the flooring goes in, then we just gotta resituate like the shower and all that and should be good to go. So as one would guess, it's been just a couple days since we've had a shower, which uh, isn't yeah. super uncommon when you're living this sort of lifestyle, but you know, it's just kind of reminds you when the water quits working, it's that nice reminder to never take the water for granted. Yeah, exactly. Never take the hot water for granted, never take the cold water for granted. Um, so it is kind of nice to just be put back in your place a little bit and uh, yeah, really realize what you have. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that for sure. <laughs> we need a shower though. Yeah, it's time. Let's try to bust this out. <laughs> getting all of these pipes these pex pipes off of the wall um and the little holders the little brackets those have to come off the wall all that has to come off the wall we put those valves over um a little bit down the line where the kitchen and the bathroom laundry room area um kind of intersect so we did that now we have to get all of these off the walls so that we can plastic and put the plywood up and then put it all back on, set up the shower again. I haven't had a working shower in a while.
actually in the middle of two bathroom projects, the upstairs and the downstairs, when we realized the pipes froze down here and we needed to reassess the downstairs bathroom. We were in the middle of like planning and ordering all of the supplies for the upstairs bathroom. So as soon as we get the shower back in, it's time to work on the one upstairs so we can get that running. Right now we have the toilet, but the sink is next on that list. So we're super excited about that. But one thing at a time, I think we're gonna have to cut each piece of plywood individually. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. A little, bit, little bit of a pain, tedious. More tedious, yeah. Yeah. So if we go 88, that's probably perfect. Hopefully we can do that all around. Cool. That's 25. So we're gonna go right here. This is mostly just guesswork. And then we'll come down here. Okay, I got it. Got it? Yep. Brand new chalk line. Brandy new. See if we cannot lose this one. I've made the mistake before of topping these guys off and then we don't have enough room to like roll the string back up. Uh -huh. Let's see if we can do that here.
All right, we have two more pieces to go of that plywood. One little one here, and then one on the outside there, um, too close to that outlet. It's looking good so far. Leaps and bounds ahead of where we were. Okay, so the drywall phase of this little project is finished for now. Thanks. So the plywood phase of this little project is finished for now. Uh, Mike and I are living, breathing proof of why you should do things correctly the first time. Um, I think back when we were first putting this bathroom together, we had been without a shower and a toilet for eight, nine months. And so we were ready to just like have a shower in skipped a handful of steps um and here we are you know a couple years later coming back and doing it correctly but we're finished just for now because we want to get the shower and toilet back in um, as quickly as possible we're gonna have to take a few pipes off the wall move the washer and dryer um, in order to continue the plastic and the um why can't i keep wanting to say drywall plywood. sheetrock plywood it's plywood Ply it's <laughs> Sheet rock? Sheet rock is the same as drywall. drywall. Uh, we're going to have to take all that stuff apart in order to continue the plywood over that way. Um, we want to get the shower in first and then worry about that a different day. But so far, so good on this. Um, it was a bit of a pain in the butt getting it around all of these pipes. Um, would have been a lot easier in the very beginning, but that's okay doesn't matter now. The next step is getting all of these pipes and fixtures back up on the wall so that we can take care of the flooring. So this all needs to get put back up. This is where the toilet will go. Shower is going to go over here. Uh, shower head and all that is going to go up that wall. All right. Got the laser out. Make it nice and level. Oh, I can't. Cool. So. Oh, I missed. Okay, we got the flooring down. This is just like a roll of um, vinyl, basically. We actually have the same thing in our upstairs bathroom. So yeah, it's leftovers from a friend. Uh, it looks good. It'll get the job done for a bathroom, especially a shop bathroom. And it's one of the easiest things you can put in. Reinstalling the shower, sink, and toilet was relatively painless. It was really nice to get everything put back into its proper spot. Okay, 
Good. Overall, I would say everything looks really, really good. I need to get a couple outlet covers for those, but the walls look awesome. Got a little shelf up there. Shower is just like fully enclosed by the shower liner. Nothing too fancy, but it's good for a shop shower. This wall is partially done. We didn't want to completely finish because there's some more wires that we still have to run um, behind this wall before we completely close it up, but that shouldn't be too long, just a little bit extra. But yeah, it looks good. Cool. Well, good job on everything. Thank you, I think you that worked out really good. It is super nice to have the shower back in. Um, it was a few days, but it was a few days too long. Mm -hmm. So it was nice to get everything taken off and then put back on. Um, I think everything went really well besides like the things that didn't. <laughs> yeah, everything went really well. Um, yeah, we're learning that there is a reason that people finish their house before they move into it. Cat's going crazy in the new shower curtain back here. But yeah, we have to, you know, go backwards to go forwards. We have to redo steps to, you know, get back to baseline, yeah. which uh, is just the way it is with this one. It's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We hope you guys enjoyed the video um, and have a very happy new year. Thank you for watching. See you later.